Hi, Soba TB. I am a Romanian pneumologist. TB still remains uh, the, the biggest infectious disease killer. And our dream is to see a world without tuberculosis. Hi, Soba TB. Selamat datang di TB TV. Take action, no discrimination. Selamat datang semua di TV Talk podcastnya TV TV. Today is a very special day because we have a very very special guest. I would like to welcome Dr. Lucika Ditu. Uh, Dr. Lucika Ditu is from Stop TV Partnership and she's uh, the executive director of Stop TV Partnership. Am I correct? You are correct. Hi Sobat TV. Good. Can you say something else about Uh, yourself and your activities? Yes, I can go beyond. Hi, Sobat TV. I can go beyond and tell that um, uh, I am a Romanian pneumologist uh, leading uh, an organization that is uh, in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, hosted by United Nations. And our dream is to see a world without tuberculosis. So we do whatever we can to actually support the people in the country that are uh, in charge or that are uh, doing uh, anything that people affected by TB and their families and friends are having a better Okay, life. before uh, go on, I would like to know the tuberculosis situation in the world right now. Can you uh, tell a bit of the situation? Yes, COVID, uh, to say so, affected us very much, affected the TB response. During COVID, people couldn't go really to be diagnosed and treated and uh, they couldn't move. But also when they were going to be treated or diagnosed, uh, the TB doctors or uh, laboratories or uh, health workers and nurses were busy with COVID. So that's why uh, 2020 and 2021 saw uh, a, a dip uh, in the number of people diagnosed with TB and therefore treated. Uh, so an, an increase in mortality uh, f- uh, for uh, two years consecutive in 2020 and 2021, mortality due to TB increased. Uh, and first time in a, more than a decade, the incidence from TB increased as well. Uh, so um, what to say, very, very sad situation. Uh, with TB continues to kill 4,400 people every day, uh, 700 of them children. But uh, 2022 gave us uh, renewed hope uh, because in 2022, uh, at least uh, a few of the high burden countries, uh, counting in uh, them Indonesia, Uh, did a fantastic performance by uh, finding and treating uh, more people with TB than ever. Thank you, Lucica. Uh, Thank you job. very much. Amazing job. So, uh, tell me what, what step has been taken by TB Partnership uh, for the TB elimination? So, what we do, uh, there are several things that we want to do. First of all, I think we want to make the world uh, uh, be aware and understand the TB situation, understand that even though we know this disease for for uh, you know hundreds of years basically and we have a cure uh, and uh, we have a way to diagnose uh, tb still remains uh, the, the biggest infectious disease killer so we want to make uh, people but especially high level uh, stakeholders leaders aware of tb uh, the second is we want to increase the uh, ambition and uh, we want the countries uh, and our partners in countries to to really believe and uh, fight and push that uh, we can end TB by 2030. So uh, we developed a global plan based on the WHO NTB strategy uh, that basically looks what can we do between 2023 and uh, 2030 to NTB. Uh, we cannot go, uh, if you recall, with uh, we, we used to do in TB just packages, just some pieces moving forward. Yeah. It's, it's good Not to offer in- now. Integrated. Eh? Exactly. It's now to do an integrated package that can be offered to people with TB in which you include diagnosis, treatment, care, but you look at also other conditions. You look at out-of-pocket expenditures. You, book, you look at, at, obviously, other comorbidities. Uh, you, to look uh, at the level of nutrition of people and to try to offer support to the person 
uh, and not to uh, you know uh, uh, just some parts not just advanced diagnosis but forget treatment not advanced sensitive TB but forget MDR TB exactly. advanced uh, uh, adults forget about children uh, extra pulmonary TB uh, there are still some areas that uh, we, we are uh, are left behind even uh, so we have to put everything together yes in one piece yeah? yes in one piece and okay. And ensure that, for example, when a country makes a plan, uh, they should think, okay, if, I will, if I'm serious about ending TB, I need to arrive at a certain level by 2030. Let's say I want to be at 60 per 100,000 in, according to my numbers, that's a good target to have. And then work backwards. What kind of activities I should implement to reach there? Because what's happening very often is that people in the countries develop their national strategic plans not having in, vision, in the head something to end by 2030, but slight improvements year after year, 5% increase, 10% increase. And this is how we don't go anywhere. Because if you want to build a house, you don't start saying, okay, I'm doing this year a little room, and next year maybe I do a kitchen. Luchika, that, that is what we call business as usual. Yes. And yes. we have to say goodbye to that. Yes, absolutely. No more business as usual throw away the business as usual and start thinking in a comprehensive way and say if I want to do a house I'm not doing one thing here one thing here I'm saying agree perfect okay so everyone say that yes we can NTB we all say that yes but there are challenges big challenges big challenges so I want to know from your uh, point of view how how is it what we can do to make it possible to NTB. Yeah, I think uh, we have uh, basically three things in my head that we have to do. Uh, I think the most important is to believe in it uh, and uh, to accept nothing less. Uh, COVID uh, showed to us that uh, when there is a, a threat and uh, the certain countries are scared, money are not an issue, getting together to research uh, and to produce new tools, develop new tools and uh, roll out the new tools, reload, innovation, uh, vaccine and so on, it's possible. Uh, live um, real-time data is possible. So COVID learn, uh, taught us that this is happening, so we should accept nothing less for TB. The second is we should believe and include in TB response a lot of innovations and new tools. New tools, new guidelines of WHO are coming, uh, innovations in service delivery, out with it in the field. And not at a project level, do it at the scale, uh, you know, without any hesitation and uh, pushing it out there. Money will be an issue, which is the third thing. Don't get discouraged about the uh, limitation of the funds. Uh, making a, a strong argument about uh, how uh, important is the investment in TB. TB is very cost efficient and there are a lot of data coming even now. Last week uh, came new figures about investing in TB, $1, getting 42 back. Uh, one of the best 12 investments uh, in the SDGs uh, uh, targets is TB. So uh, make the case and uh, find innovative ways to increase the funding. And uh, if there is a bold approach, uh, there will be resources identified. That's not a problem. Luchika, I've been seeing a TB patient for more than 30 years, but nothing really significant improve. So I thought to myself, so maybe uh, the medical approach is not uh, really uh, the major thing. And I come co to the conclusion that uh, actually we need to involve the community. Yes. Yeah, yes. they always are left behind. Yes. So this is the time to put them in, into the important role, and then, I mean, important role, so they can do a lot of things to support uh, yes. TB activities. What do you think about that? I am, uh, it's one of the things uh, where you said not, no more business as usual. They, they need to be uh, not only, usual, you see, in general, not just in TB, people invite civil society and communities more as a parade or mm -hmm. to tick a box or to tell their sad story. Uh, this should not be the case. Uh, they should drive the response by even deciding at the moment of even when you start developing a new tool, should be a consultation with communities and civil society and people affected, what kind of tool do you want? What will help you uh, get better diagnosed or treated and so on? And then without having them driving the response, 
without having them creating a lot of demand for the new tools and uh, you know being at not only at the center but empowered to participate equipped to participate funded to participate we will not ntb and as a matter of fact no other disease and as a matter of fact we will never reach any uhc if we don't have the people suffering and the communities driving all of us uh, we will continue to fight we will save lives but we will never end any of these diseases okay so maybe the last question uh, how confident are you that uh, the world will ntb and especially uh, how indonesia can take a part yeah so uh I am very confident if people will, uh, if we will be able to have uh, human beings, especially leaders and stakeholders that are smart and understand what is at stake. And the fact that we have here a disease that is airborne and that we have the capacity to really drive the numbers very much down. We need a vaccine to be able to NTB. So uh, uh, it should not be that difficult to fund uh, and finalize some of the vaccines that are in the pipelines. So I am confident that we do. If we are able to, uh, if people understand, you know, like if nobody will care or, or you know, give a shit of what's happening, uh, you know, we will uh, continue to go in circles and continue as humanity. We didn't end any disease. Huh? We didn't eradicate, eliminate or end any disease. Indonesia will move. Uh, Indonesia showed last year uh, incredible uh, capacity to mobilize. Uh, and as I said, to reach 74% uh, of uh, uh, people estimated uh, having TB to be diagnosed and treated. We need Indonesia to move because it's the second highest burden country. So if Indonesia does their part, do their part, if India do the, does, the, does uh, her part, uh, its part, uh, then we have uh, a big chance to having the entire world moving. So for us, Indonesia moved in 2022. I hope it keeps the pressure in 2023 and um, uh, continue, obviously, uh, till the incidence goes down. Um, I think the current leadership is amazing in the country. President uh, Djokovic is fantastic. I wish he will stay longer. Uh, Minister Budi and the team are absolutely top notch. Uh, you and the others are doing, uh, it's amazing the work that is done here. So I really hope that uh, this will continue in the coming years because two, three years of this type of effort will take Indonesia out of the big numbers that it are, is now. So uh, Indonesian, my friends uh, from TB Society, uh, listen to what Luchika said that Indonesia is very important. So we should take uh, action, take uh, the important role in order to help the world to end TB. So please take your part, anything you can do to NTB in Indonesia. So, I said that was like, uh, well, that was my last question, but actually I want to ask you one more thing. Do you have any message uh, for our audience? Yes. Sobat TB, we call it Sobat TB. Sobat TB, don't be, if you get TB, don't be ashamed, don't feel isolated, don't self-punish yourself, you should feel no stigma of having TB. TB is airborne. TB is like COVID spread through air. Everybody is at risk. I think the stigma that people with TB feel, and very often we did some research and we have a way to measure stigma in countries and we in Stop TB and we noticed, we, we learned that a lot of, of stigma is self-stigma. People feel themselves uh, uh, ashamed of infecting their family members or their friends. Don't be. Uh, look uh, your head up. Uh, there is uh, uh, nothing to be uh, worried about. There is a treatment. Uh, TB is curable. Don't delay the diagnosis. Uh, if you feel uh, unwell or you cough, you can even tell the doctor or the nurse it might be TB. So, uh, and, uh, and not only do that, but also encourage the others around you to be diagnosed and treated, but also to understand that there is no stigma in TB, and I think we should have no discrimination in TB. No stigma in TB, because TB is uh, curable and also pre preventable. Yes, yeah. Preve yes, correct. I, I didn't say, but preventable, absolutely. Okay, Sobat TB, demikian bincang-bincang kita dengan tamu istimewa, Dr. Lucika Ditiu dari uh, Stop TB Partnership Global. Uh, beliau adalah Executive Director dari Stop TB Partnership. So we thank you very much 
for uh, coming to us and having this conversation very 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 interesting and very nice and um, I do hope that we can uh, meet again and uh, be in this uh, talk again Sobat TV jangan lupa like comment dan juga subscribe dan nyalain lonceng untuk update seputar tuberkulosis dan follow Instagram dan juga TikTok kami di sini. Kibi TV take action no discrimination. Kibi Talk, Kibi TV, Sobat TV. Bye bye.